Hello and welcome to EdTech 501, the introductory course in our EdTech program here at Boise State. In this presentation, I will discuss the purpose and design of this course, how to get started, and what you'll be doing this semester. This course purpose and design revolves around a central question. What does it mean to be an educational technologist? I hope by the end of this class you will have a richer understanding of this complex field and know how you can make a difference in your own school and beyond. You should know that this course may be different from other online courses you may have taken. Our EdTech online courses are active and engaging. Expect to get to know your instructor and classmates very well, possibly even better than in a face-to-face -face setting. Being online does not mean you will work in isolation. You will experience an active, student-centered environment requiring you to view your classmates' work and also rate them based upon instructor rubrics or checklists. You will participate in a collaborative project addressing issues of digital inequality. Throughout this process, you will easily be able to assess your own progress through viewing other students' work. This Moodle course also includes completion tracking, enabling you to move through the course more quickly should you wish. We offer you many ways to learn, knowing that learning is individual but never occurs in isolation. You will want to get started on the right foot in this course. First, I suggest you read and print our course syllabus, our official contract for the course. Make sure you read and understand your obligations. Do not skip this step. You will next want to review the AECT standards that align with all work in the EdTech program. The artifacts you create for this class will address various standards, which you will assign to each artifact in your learning log. Your instructor has provided a suggested list of standards that align with each artifact you create in this class, along with rationale and suggestions for validating the importance of each artifact. You will want to get organized. Clean up your workspace, make sure you have external backup in place for your digital files, and of course, have dependable internet service. Our Moodle site can also be accessed on a mobile device, so you will always have access to our course materials in just about any location. Just a reminder, all artifacts created in your EdTech classes will meet a certain AECT standard or standards. Your course syllabus will list each artifact and the standard or standards it addresses. It is up to you to document this in your learning log as you progress in the EdTech program. You should also get in the habit of reflecting upon the artifact and your learning, including research or other experiences to support the importance of your artifact. You may decide to use the artifact in your classroom, which would provide rich information and support for the artifact's usefulness and importance. The course is divided into five modules, learning networks, EdTech research, technology trends, ethical issues in educational technology, and finally, technology use planning. I will discuss each of these modules briefly and what you should expect in each one. We begin with learning networks, emphasizing the power of learning being socially constructed. You will meet your instructor and classmates during a live Adobe Connect meeting during the first week of class. You will need to have a headset and know how to use it. You can also use a webcam if desired. You will create a Digo account and join our Digo class group. We will use Digo to collect and share web resources and also annotate our learning logs. 
You will also create an original video introduction, which you can reflect upon and incorporate at the end of your program, should you desire. You will join our EdTech Graduate Student Association and become an active member. Creating a learning log is an important component of this course. You will use this online platform to upload and document your artifacts created during your EdTech program. This learning log can then be easily transformed to your final portfolio so you can understand why this work is especially important. Knowing how to identify relevant peer-reviewed research and use this to validate the use of technology in education is an essential part of being an educational technologist. In this course, you will conduct research using RSS feeds with Google Reader as your feed aggregator. You will use Google Scholar and Albertson's Library to conduct research locating articles that support the use of technology in education. You will apply correct APA style in the formatting of these resources using a free and open source tool called Zotero to help. Finally, you will share your resources through a Zotero group created by your instructor. Prepare to be amazed by this tool. Next, we move on to examining emerging technologies and trends. You will read a very important document, the Horizon Report, and select a tool and or trend to use in a lesson plan. Knowing about ethical issues, particularly digital divide and digital inequality, is an essential component of being an educational technologist. You will collaborate with a small group during this assignment, addressing a fictional yet very real scenario. The culmination of your work will result in a narrated multimedia presentation. Finally, we end the course with a module on tech use planning. You will read about tech use planning and review actual technology use plans, composing an overview of the process and how it relates to the National Education Technology Plan. Then you will conduct a survey of your own school or business using a survey instrument provided by your instructor. You will evaluate your school's technology environment composing a summary of your findings with recommendations on how to improve. Most students really enjoy this assignment and discover some surprising results. And then it's time to say goodbye. You will end the course by creating an animated video course reflection, complete a course evaluation, and then revise and update your learning log. At the end of the course, you will be amazed at how much you've learned and can immediately apply to your own classroom. Thanks for viewing and again, welcome to class.